you're watching Mooney Reads, and today I bring you a review of The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. This book is about a young girl named Ruby. She lives in North America, and in this world, children are starting to get sick with this disease called Ian's. Now, Ian's either kills kids or gives them superpowers because that's just the way it works. When Ruby gets sick, obviously she doesn't die, but she gets superpowers. And like every other kid with superpowers, she's sent to this correctional facility where they're supposed to cure the children of the powers, but really what this is is basically a concentration camp. And let's face it, this book was right up my alley. What I really like about this book is, first of all, the characters. Ruby is the first YA character that I was actually able to connect with. And I know that sounds weird because in the booktube community, YA is such a big thing, but I just never was able to connect with anyone like I was able to connect with Ruby. I got where she was coming from. I thought she was realistic in her actions because of what she's lived through. And I thought that the book was kind of new and exciting because a lot of the book takes place on a road trip across America. I'm not going to say why because that would be spoiling it. But basically I thought that that way they, they did it, the formula was a little different. In in the book, just so you know, uh, those these superpowers, it's not really like X-Men where you have a ton of them. But it's limited to groups, categories. And you have uh, mind powers, which in the book are described as being orange because when they go to the concentration camps, that's how they classify them. Uh, the mind powers are orange. Uh, blues are the people with uh, telekinesis that they can move things with just willing them to. Then there is yellow, which are people that can control electricity, and gosh, that's a really cool power in the book. Then there are the greens, who can control, uh, they can control anything, <laughs> who can, like, they're code breakers. Basically, they're amazing at math, and I'm talking about genius level and beyond. We're talking watchmen level geniuses. Okay, and finally there's the reds, which um, by, have pyrokinesis. They can make anything flame up when they want to. I don't want to give anything away, but seriously, the characters were amazing. The storyline, at first I thought it was going to be kind of too X-Men-y, but that's okay for me. And I, it turns out that it wasn't like X-Men, and it, it was truly fresh and new, at least to me it was. A lot of people didn't like the ending. I did, because I thought it was perfect. I thought that Ruby's decision, what she does, is what she should have done. But what I, I, I didn't like a certain part of the book when, like I said, it takes mostly part in a road trip, and then when the road trip ends, and they're statically somewhere, that's the part of the book I had issues with, and I breezed through the book until I got to that part, but that's just me personally. I thought it got a little cliche in that part, but, you know, overall, that's like nothing in the book and it was still enjoyable i'll admit it was still enjoyable but it wasn't as enjoyable to me it wasn't as fresh as the road trip part yeah overall i'm going to give the darkest minds by alexander bracken a five out of five stars i freaking love this book there were so little quibble things that i didn't like that it just makes no sense for me to give it a four star because i would consider rereading it that's been my review of this i hope it wasn't spoilery because I tried to make it non-spoilery, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And reviews are really hard for me to do, but I hope that I'm going to try and do them more often so that I get better at them. And without further ado, please comment down below if you read The Darkest Minds, and if you liked it, or if you didn't like it, why you didn't like it, try and keep it spoiler-free. And also, thumbs up and subscribe if you're so inclined. And until next time, I'm Moody, and this was Moody Reads. Why do I always lose the remote to turn off the camera?